Hey guys, so one day a few weeks ago, I found out last minute it was going to be below freezing for a couple nights here in Florida, so I decided to make this outdoor kitty shelter out of stuff I just had laying at home, and this is how I did it. So you need something waterproof uh, that is like the storage bin. I happened to empty it out when I was redoing my gym space where I train people online, and this is what I had, a decent sized Tupperware storage bin, and speaking of gym stuff a lot of gym stuff being used here i had these floor tiles these foam floor tiles that we're going to use as insulation and that i used as insulation because that's also really important when you're making these outdoor kitty shelters i just had my box cutter right here a pair of scissors that came in handy I also, of course, you know, when I do these DIYs, I use my googly-eyed tape measure, as you can see. And I happen to have some duct tape on hand, but honestly, even if I didn't, I, I would have used probably f uh, packing tape, like for mail and foil tape. But next step is to get a bowl, because this will help us put our door, and this is what I use to put a little opening in the kitty house. And I made sure to make it about four inches above ground just in case it rained or something like that. You want to make sure that it's at least four or five inches from the bottom. I traced it out with my Sharpie and then I was kind of trying to think if I wanted to do a second door like a, a flop door or a, a flip door instead of a hole but for now I just stuck with this this one and there's so many ways to make these you guys you can get a cooler if you want to get really fancy but again I was just making this totally impromptu out of stuff that I happen to have at home so I cut that hole out super simple and then I saw the kitty I was making it for hey baby hi little baby what are you doing it's gonna be cold tonight I'm making you a bed hi here baby Hi, here baby, there you go, oh big stretch, did you see what I put down for you? You don't want it, you don't want it, oh it's good little treat treats, alright, where do you want me to put your little hut? Oh you just want love don't you, hi baby, hi, are you excited for your little house, you healthy healthy? Are you excited for your little house? I hear some purpers. Get your little treats. Get your little treats. All right, I need to keep putting it back together because it's going to get chilly quick, apparently. It's going to get chilly quick, and you need a little warm house because I don't know if you actually have one. Good boy, girl, they, I don't know what you are. You feel healthy. I feel you have to be indoor-outdoor. I need to get you checked for a chip or something. All right. Can I finish putting your little, your warm little house back together? I hope you use it. You stay warm, okay? You feel so healthy. I feel like, I, I don't know, you confuse me. You're very mysterious. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. I'll put it like over there. <laughs> Is that okay? You good? No? <laughs> All right, back to making this kitty shelter for Pat. So I started to measure out the insulation tiles we're gonna use and they had to line the entire inside. So after measuring them out, cutting them out, you could see perfect fit. I had just enough and then some to spare. And you can see there's a little space right there, but we're gonna situate it. And Puppy, of course, is always supervising my work. He approves, I think. But here it is after I took some duct tape and just taped it all up on the creases and the sides and it stuck pretty well and you could see that I still didn't um, you're probably wondering like well where's the hole there's there's no hole there well we're gonna get to that next but I was really really excited at how this is turning out so far and then I remembered that we kind of had to to get the lid going too there had to be some insulation I wanted to put some anyway on the bottom of the lid so I just took my sharpie and I traced out the 
tiles and the insulation foam to match the shape of the lid and that was pretty simple I ended up putting it on there had just enough I still had one tile left over you can see here how perfectly look at that it's like a puzzle piece and then I just took some duct tape and taped it all around to make sure it was pretty secure this this duct tape it worked out great but again I would have used whatever I happen to have I know I had some packing tape for mailing and shipping boxes but look at that fits perfectly and I was kind of I was kind of scared it wouldn't fit on and seal completely but it completely did so that was good news and here we are cutting out the hole and this was also really easy this foam was super easy to cut through I could have just used my scissors I mean I did when I was cutting out the shape for the lid but here we go now it's it's sharp around the edges here and we also just want to make sure that insulation is really good the whole way through so I went ahead and took some duct tape and then put it all around the edges to make sure that the kitty too didn't you know snag themselves or hurt themselves or anything and here is some straw so it's really important you don't want to use hay you want to use straw or wood chips and um, that's because it doesn't get damp and it doesn't get you know the chance of getting wet and not drying out so I got my straw which I didn't have on hand fun fact but I actually put something out on next door it's like that neighborhood kind of social app and asked a question about where I could get some straw last minute and somebody just happened to have some left over that they were like hey you could come pick it up so that was really neat I think I put about maybe three or four inches of straw just to the bottom of the hole and you can see it there and um, here's the thing about the blanket I know people are gonna say stuff because typically when you make these kitty shelters you don't want to put a blanket or towels in there because those again will get damp and wet especially if there's any kind of dew in the mornings or if it, it rains or if it's moist outside and th this was just going in my backyard <laughs> it was just going by my squirrel playground so it wasn't a typical outdoor kitty shelter people make where they might leave it in a feral community or um, you know it, it won't really be monitored for a while but this is just going in my backyard so here it is you guys I taped the top shut we got the straw in there we got that warm blanket and this is my homemade DIY super last minute outdoor kitty shelter I'm super proud of it and I'm super excited to see what what Pat thinks about it but look at how cozy and perfect it is I hope he loves it. I hope you guys uh, found this helpful, and let's see. What are you doing, little guy? So a quick update. This is a week later, maybe. Um, it's been out there by the tree, but I just brought it in this morning because the lawn was getting cut, so I went ahead and brought it in, but then I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and cut out that second hole. This is actually the second hole. So, are you in there? What are you doing, Ronan? Okay, so there's one hole, here's the other hole. I was gonna put it in the side right here and make a little flappy hole, but I'm kind of in a rush and uh, Ronan is very interested. So there's the initial hole. Basically, I did the same exact thing on the other side. I think it's a tiny bit smaller and a tiny bit higher. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. Pat, my binary black cat, they have not been in here yet. They've just kind of come and hung out next to it, and I've used it as a little seat out there <laughs> just to pet him and um, give them treats and all these things. Oh, you like it? I'm thinking with that second opening, just like Ronan. Oh, here comes Betty. I'm thinking that Pat might approve too. So, yep, that's just a little adjustment I made. Little hole, both sides, as is typically suggested. Right, Betty Boo? Mmm, big fat, y'all. That is the final product of my DIY. Actually, I think it needs a little something extra. Stand by. Okay. I think... I think that's good. Right? Okay. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, this quick blip on how I made this thing, and stay tuned because I will show you in an upcoming video how I make it using actual things to purchase out at the store if you have time to prep and different options. I hope that this inspired somebody to make something if needed, and we, what is going, oh, they are obsessed with straw, I've discovered since making this project. So I actually had to put it outside the door because I was, you know, finding straw every time I put my foot in a shoe and all these things. But anyway, you wanna say bye? Are you giving yourself a pedicure? Hi, handsome. Say bye, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>